Hi guys, it's Dello here. Welcome to another speed build. Today we're building House on a Rock. Um, I actually built this a few days ago and I had forgotten about it. Um, and then there was the Maxis Monthly live stream where they teased terrain editing and I was thinking about the live stream and I was like, did I publish this build or not? And I checked and I didn't. I, for some reason, I thought that I had published this build already, but I hadn't. It was otherwise ready. I just had to do the voiceover. So here we are. Um, it's a pretty small build, but it can fit a family of four. Um, and it has a spacious yard and all the necessities you would need. Um, yeah, let's talk about the live stream for a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so a new career and terrain tools, that's really exciting. Um, I don't think I saw any single person um, say, like, predict that it would be terrain tools. I saw many, many crazy predictions that I didn't believe for a second, and, and some predictions were much more believable. But I don't think anyone really expected terrain tools to be it. At least I thought that um, now that The Sims 4 has already been out for this long without terrain tools that it was just impossible to do in the game. I thought that, um, that they just couldn't um, do it because of coding um, things or something like that. But apparently not. And I think it's really cool. I don't personally mind that they're releasing um, content like this. Um, I just think it keeps the game fresh and new and as long as they're not making us pay for this, these essential tools like terrain, um, I think it's totally fine and I'm happy with anything that they give us for free. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited for the new patch. Um, I'm also fine with the fact that it got delayed. Um, because I think it's better to always make things um, better, <laughs> to finish them. Like they said, they didn't want to release the patch in October, like they previously said, because um, some of them thought that it wasn't finished enough. Um, yeah, um, there's also going to be the new career and other new stuff in the patch, which was really nice like when the stream started and they announced the career that was style influencer and like the sketch pad things and stuff i was like already sold i was already thinking that this that um this is going to be a great patch and i will love it um <laughs> even without the terrain tools um especially being like an artist myself i study art if you didn't know that and being interested in fashion and design and, and stuff like that. Um, I really like the idea of a style influencer career and I love that, that it's a base game update. It's such an essential career, I think. It's really great to have it. I like. It's weird that we didn't have it or any fashion related um, things before. Well, of course, we had the retail stores from Get to Work, but that was the only fashion-related um, career in the whole game, right? Um, so yeah, that's really cool, and I'm really looking forward to it. But <laughs> let's talk about the build again. Mm, we're doing the floor plan now. I cut most of the landscaping out because it was a bit tedious. Um, there's this like pond under the under the house or under the cliff and then there's a bridge under it um, not really a bridge but it's a bridge uh, there's a the swings and there's a basketball court and there will be a little patio mm, in the backyard it's not finished yet but it will be there um, yeah this build um, doesn't use any custom content. Um, I kind of I like to try custom content sometimes, 
but I don't have a lot of it, so sometimes I just build without it, and sometimes I... Well, this was already um, recorded a few days ago. I didn't have much build and buy custom content at all. Um, but yeah, like still I want to sometimes make custom content free builds and this is one of them. Um, this is already up on the gallery also. Uh, if you want to download it, um, my origin ID is Galoniada or you can find it with the hashtag VeloSims. Um, yeah, here around the back door there's a little um, clothes closet with the sliding doors and there's a bathroom. Um, it's the only bathroom in this house, um, so there's no, no upstairs bathrooms. And yeah, we're using some vampire tiles and the vampire's um, bath, bathtub shower combo. Um, and I don't remember exactly um, what things I had to change. I had to things, I had to change a few things uh, when I was playtesting this because I wanted to be uh, fully functional. So for example, um, at some point I pulled a plant in front of that a bathtub that ends up blocking it, but the bathtub works. So when I was playtesting it, I just removed the plant and the kitchen works. Um, I think uh, we will be adding um, circular, this one, circular <laughs> dining table um, and removing one of the archways. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't use all of the seats around this table but um, at least four of them you can use and yeah just putting this painting up again <laughs> I feel like I use it in every build but it's such a great painting and it has so many amazing swatches <laughs> we all love it yeah at this point I really wanted to give them a dog um, like to have this house have a dog um, so I was trying to place the food bowls and I was trying there to make like an um, outdoor, um, what's that uh, called? Like a space for the dog? It's not a cage. Cage sounds horrible, but anyway, like a <laughs> fenced area for the dog, but it didn't look right. Um, you could definitely feed a dog in here because, yeah, like all they really need is a um, food bowl so you can definitely fit that in but I didn't end up putting, putting it here um, yeah just some clutter and we're going to be painting the walls uh, later again um, now it's very plain and boring but we will give the whole house some accent walls in the end and um, yeah just some toilets the toilet works uh, even if there is the shelf on top of it um, or above it. And I think here I also put in the plant. Yeah, this plant was blocking it. So I think I removed it before I uploaded it to the gallery. But that's fine. And um, yeah, we're using this plaid. Is it plaid or plaid? I've heard both. But I'm going to say plaid. I'm not sure. If it's right, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the brown um, wallpaper in the kitchen, it's cute. And here is a little study. It's just one desk, one computer, a uh, bookcase, and the <clears throat> globe um, bar. I'm running out of breath, sorry. <laughs> um, and when I was playtesting this, my sim actually... Um, automatically or by by her own went up to the bar and uh, took a drink from it. I didn't think it would work but my sim really wanted to drink uh -huh. <laughs> and she got one so it works as well. And here's the living room. I use um, kitchen cabinets to make the TV cabinet um, TV surface <laughs> thing. We put down a gaming console, some flowers, and um, 
oh, it's the same sofa as well as in my latest build. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Seasons was a great pack. There were some amazing things in it and those sofas and those paintings, they're just so versatile. Versatile? Versatile? <laughs> How can you resist them? Um, and yeah, some toys here as well because this family, I imagine, won't have two kids. As you will see soon when we go upstairs and just picking a painting here and some clutter. Um, yeah, I don't know. We moved on to the foyer area. Um, just some uh, coat hanger thingies and seating thing. <laughs> wow, my English is so creative today. Everything is a thing or a thingy. Um, but you know, that's how it is sometimes when it's not your first language. Um, this box, I usually put this in all the foyers I do or all the entrance areas because I feel like mm, many real homes have some kind of a box or a space where you would keep your keys or your random little things by the like front door. Um, at least I feel like I've had that in most of my apartments or homes, <laughs> so that's why I usually put that. Two boxes uh, close to the front entrance and here we are in the upstairs. There are two bedrooms and this one is for twins, I think, like that's how I imagined it. Twin girls mm, who wouldn't mind living together in a small space. They would be very good friends and have a similar taste, at least a similar enough taste to both live in this room and kind of like the same things. Um, it's still very generic, it's not a crazy room, it's just very cute um, with some <laughs> dirty laundry on the floor there. There's no laundry in this um, house, that's just the base game. Decorative laundry um, piece. Um, this wall didn't... Um, I mean this wall piece, <laughs> what's it called, a shelf, uh, blocked the way to the upstairs when I was playtesting it, but I just moved it to the other wall and it was fine. So again, that has changed a tiny bit in the gallery version. Um, and yeah, here is the master bedroom, which is also very small. It's just a bed in a room <laughs> and you can access it I think from one side, um, I think if if you would want to have two sims leaving it, you would have to shove that, mm, that wardrobe further into the wall, I think, <laughs> but I couldn't bother, <laughs> sorry. And here we're using those vampire piece rug pieces uh, in the upstairs. Um, hallway, just putting up some wall decorations and checking that everything's okay and here I skipped a lot of landscaping again. The yard is almost complete. Uh, we have the little fairy statue here and we have this big uh, fenced courtyard area. It's not closed but it's a bit more private and a lot of, like I said, like a swing and a basketball court and a lot of things to do. Uh, here was an empty space and when there's an empty space on a yard I always put planters in. <laughs> so that's what I did here as well. Just some tools as well and a couple of bee boxes. So that is it for the build. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and you can find it on the gallery under my username Veloniada and I will see you soon. Bye bye!